Hey muñecas, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how I created this eye candy look while I test it out for the first time, the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette. So if you wanna see it in action for the first time and if you wanna see what I think about the palette, then uh, just keep on watching. All right, so we're going to begin with a blank canvas and no makeup on the face. I just wanna do my eyes first and then worry about the face later because I am going to be trying and testing a concealer today. Um, just a little spoiler alert, it's going to be the Morphe concealer. I am not gonna upload it on my English channel just because I'm trying to create different content for my English and my Spanish channel. But if you're interested, in seeing a full review on that concealer if you're bilingual or if you just want to see me rambling <laughs> um head over to my spanish channel which is gran by panela i'm gonna have it there but um anyhow i went into the morphe store or a morphe store for the first time the store looks amazing i love how it looked but i was in a bit of a rush because they were about to close i only picked up two things i ended up picking up of course a concealer that we're going to be testing and reviewing on my spanish channel and then i picked up the thirsty palette which i have been dying to try out and when i saw it in person i was like you know what i've been waiting enough let's try it let's see what it looks like inside so we have the carton here that looks identical to the actual packaging and I don't want to make this like a review review. Um, oh wow, it looks like mm, mine is a little beat up. These shadows that look so pretty. The This eye palette really caught my eyes. I've been wanting to try it for the longest, like ever since it came out. But of course, I'm always late for launches. And then uh, every time I went into the website, it was freaking sold out. So I saw it in person and um, I just couldn't resist. I guess this is going to be like a mini review of the Thirsty Palette. Let's get started. So I'm going to prime first, utilizing my P. Louis base in the tone 01. Excuse my friend over here. I think a little mountain wants to come out and it's just hanging there. So I'm going to begin blending them. As you can see, I did blend it past my eye because I'm not quite sure how far I want to take the eyeshadow, but that way we have a base in case I decide to like wing it out. To be honest with you, I never have a clue of what I'm going to create, so I just winged it. So I'm gonna begin by packing bitch into, I can't believe I'm saying that out loud, but I mean, it's the name of the shadow. And I'm gonna begin just packing it on a circular motion around the crease. So as you can see, I'm packing it in a circular motion, not blending out yet. And first impression, I can tell you that the shadow has no fallout whatsoever. Like I am tapping off the excess a little bit, but I do that with any eyeshadow that I use. Um, the pigmentation, I mean, do you see it? I don't see any blotchiness anywhere. All right, so that's what we have so far. It looks very scary, but very pigmented, but don't worry, we're gonna blend that out now. I'm gonna go into taste buds. Yeah, that's what it's called, taste buds over here. Just a little bit lighter, and I'm going to begin just going right around the edges to blend that out. I'm going to take a 217 brush instead to go right around the edges and to blend out the shadow. That was a very easy blend. This is how it looks blended out. Of course, I have to go in with the, um, what is it called, bitch eyeshadow and intensify it one more time. And then this is the side that is not blended. Going back in with bitch and just intensifying that one more time. I think I wanna keep it just like that with those two tones on the crease. I'm gonna cut the crease, of course, using the P. Louise base one more time, just because, you know, you gotta do a full-blown cut crease look to test out these shadows, otherwise, you're not really reviewing it. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so that's what we have so far. I'm going to cut one crease at a time because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, so I need to work with one eye at a time. So I'm going to go in with Quench. I mean, I have to use it. This is like one of the main reasons why I got this palette, this shadow right here. I 
don't think I have a yellow like that in my collection, so I definitely wanted to use it. So I'm going to begin packing this one right on the inner corner of the eye. Alright, so that's what we have, but um, just a warning, I do want to use as many eyeshadows as I can today, so I'm going to be taking a very risky step next. I'm uh, going to go in with Stroke right here, and I'm going to begin placing that on the very outer V, and then I'm going to begin like lining right here, like in between the yellow and uh, stroke the yellow is quenched by the way and then now i'm going to be taking a little bit of kumquat it's um, a very unusual name and i'm going to begin packing that right in between like so i'm not getting the results that i wanted i wanted this area here to be a little bit more dark so i think i'm going to go in with drizzle which is the darkest one on the palette and I'm going to pack that very close to the lash line and also like at the very end of the cut crease right here just to intensify things a little bit more. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Um, so far I've only tested the matte eyeshadows and they are super buttery and easy to blend. So I'm loving that. I think I do want a hint of like glitteriness in there. So I'm going to use one of the shimmery shadows. And to make sure that it's nice and intense, I'm going to be using a little bit of my glitter glue by Too Faced. And then I'm going to go right over that using Plunge. So that's what we have so far and I'm loving it. I do want to play with a new product that I just ordered a couple of days ago. It's this Tag Body Art. I've never used their brand before or any of their products. But I saw Sassy the other day, my friend. I will leave her channel name uh, somewhere here so you can go follow her. She's amazing. I saw her using this on her channel and I was like, girl, where did you get that? Because I need it in my life. It's supposed to be a water activator type of paint that you can use to line your eyes. I'm thinking today for this look, I wanna use the Neo Orange one and see what happens. So let me play with it. I don't know. When I see it on the brush, it looks too liquidy. So I was afraid it was not gonna have enough pigmentation, but I was wrong. I didn't draw the line all the way in. I wanted to keep it more like on the outer corner of the eye, just to give it a little oomph, you know? Um, but now I'm just gonna finish off the other eye, put on some lashes, and I'll be right back. Right, so we're back, under eyes concealed, eyelashes on. I'm going to first pack on bitch. from inner to outer corner. Let me take off this thing and use the actual mirror in the palette because it's actually very nice. It's a very nice size mirror. So I'm running this just on the outer up to the center just to connect it to like that neon that we have on the outer part of the eye and then for the inner part of the eyes i think i want to go back in with quench so we're basically mimicking everything that we did on the upper part of the eye on the lower lash line so i'm blending it out here on a flat brush i'm going to take filthy rich I swear his names aren't just really funny. And I'm gonna put it very, okay, that did not work. Not with that brush, not with that brush. I'm gonna be using that JH39 instead, just a little bit more rounded and hopefully it will pick up more product. Yeah, and this one I do need to spray because it's not sticking to the brush. So I did spray my brush and I'm gonna try it one more time. Just applying it on the inner corner and then dragging it a little bit into the yellow on the lower lash line. So that shadow definitely has fallout. You wanna use a very compact, like dense brush. You don't wanna use something too fluffy and to get even more pigmentation and avoid the fallout, you can also wet the brush. That was what worked best for me. Now I'm gonna be taking this roller eye bright pencil from Benefit and I'm gonna apply that right in the water line to open things up more. All right, that definitely opened up my eyes a ton. 
Old Jokes Aside, that is the best eye brightening pencil that I have ever, ever used. It's so easy to apply, it just glides on. It is super brightening. I love it. And then I'm gonna be using my Sigma Sinuosity Mascara on the lower lash. To highlight the brow bone, I'm gonna be taking Parched, which is a kind of like a bone color. And I'm just going to be setting that area. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Leaving the California Dream from Benefit Cosmetics. For highlight, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to dip into Summer right here. I haven't used this in a while. It's definitely one of my favorite highlighter palettes ever. Whoa, I think I applied a little too much. And of course, I need the highlight mustache. Give it to me. Right, and now to line my lips, I'm going to be using Kylie Jenner's Dolce K. Then of course, for this type of look, you either need a super, super nude lipstick or something that would kind of like match and go with the eyes. And I'm gonna be on my comfort zone, so I'm gonna go in with In Between the Sheets by Dura Cosmetics, which is a super nude, and I love it. I'm gonna set everything in place using my All Nighter Setting Spray, and we should be good to go. And with that, my loves, we complete today's look. I really, really like how it turned out. I cannot stop looking at my eyes. I think I'm gonna go downstairs and get some candy from my kids and start eating it while I watch a movie because this is making me want some candy. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, hit the notification bell as well. Thank you so much for watching. Mil besos and I see you guys next time.